Welcome back to Idaho Today. We are celebrating some Idahoans. Super exciting. Let me fill you in. So, Jeremy Carlson, when he was a college freshman, he started selling ice cream cones from a tent by the side of the road. Now, these weren't your normal ice cream cones either. Unlike the normal wafers that we're very familiar with, Carlson's rotisserie grilled his dough to create fluffy, soft cones. It's a cooking style which he actually discovered when he was on a mission in the Czech Republic, which ultimately led to two brick and mortar ice cream shops called Crispy Cones and, get this, a $200,000 investment deal with Barbara Cochran on ABC's Shark Tank. So we now have Jeremy and his wife Caitlin here to tell us all about their amazing business experience and Shark Tank and where they're going now. Great to have you both here. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Great to Thank be here. You. Thank you so much. All right. So you created the crispy cone. Yes. Okay. And I imagine it was pretty successful here in Idaho, right? Oh yeah. Idahoans loved it. It, it was a, it was a slam dunk. It was a hit. It was a, okay. Slam dunk in the fantastic town of Rexburg, right? That's where you're at. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. How did you go from Rexburg to Shark Tank? Well, that's sometimes the question we ask ourselves is we, uh, <laughs> we were growing as a company and we were nobodies. Um, and we just applied and got contact from the producers and the casting crew and they said hey we're interested you've got a really unique concept you guys are fun and exciting um let's talk and so they moved us up um in about six seven months of preparation for the show and we got picked to pitch in front of barbara corcoran and mark cuban and all those all those investors oh my gosh what was that experience like were you intimidated it was so intimidating, <laughs> just especially being from where we're from, like small town, going to L.A. and being in front of these yeah. like celebrity figures was pretty wild. But we had tried to do our best of um, just practicing our pitch and knowing the ins and outs of our business so that we yeah. could be as confident as possible in the tank. And so it was super intimidating being in front of them. Um, but we were super confident in what we knew about our business and our pitch and everything. And we just tried to have fun while we were doing it because this was like a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. And we did have fun. We it was a lot of fun. fun. It was the most nervous we've ever been, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, and we're watching some of the footage too from your time on Shark Tank. And it looks like you're having fun. Jeremy, it looks like you brought a lot of energy. You're bouncing around, <laughs> you're flailing your arms. Uh, what did they say about the cone? Oh, they loved it. it. We were we were like, we just want all of them to love it. We don't want to we don't want them to slam our product on national television. Yeah. And they all loved it. Even even though we only got an investment from Barbara Corcoran, Mark Cuban had like two cones. Oh, um, they didn't show that on the episode. They <laughs> cut that. But he he down two of them. Barbara Corcoran loved it. All of them loved the product. So yeah, that's that great. Awesome. OK, so how can we here in southern Idaho enjoy a crispy cone? What's next for you guys? Well, we are growing. We've been franchising for the past year and a half. We've uh, sold 27 units nationally. Oh, wow. um, we're hoping to expand more in Idaho. We're focusing on kind of the southern states as well. Um, and we're set to we're set to sell 100 units um, this year alone. And what's also super exciting is we're one of Barbara Corcoran's top performing portfolio companies since really? the show. Yeah. And so they've granted us an update episode that that comes out this Friday. <gasps> That's so exciting. Yay. So we get to watch you. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, so it's an update episode. That's exciting. Okay. So I know that there's some stuff you can't share because we have to watch to find out like truly what's really to come, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, I mean, it, we had a lot of fun filming with them for the update episode. What it's so hard to get on the show in the first place. Yes, it it's is. so hard to get a deal. And then it's so hard to close that deal with the shark. And we hit all three of those. We were in New York City with Barbara. And then we just kept building our business, doing what we knew best. And then they contacted us and said, hey, you guys are doing phenomenal. This is really, truly becoming a nationwide brand. Barbara Corcoran was stoked about how we were growing. And so she kind of put a word into the producers and said, hey, you've got to give them an update episode and showcase where they're headed and how far they've come. So. That is super exciting. So you guys went to New York too with Barbara. What was that experience like? Yeah. That was so fun. That was another one of those pinch me surreal moments. Uh -huh. uh, it was um, a couple months after we had um, just pitched to the Sharks and we were about to close our deal. And she invited us out to hang out with her in New York City wow. with some of her other uh, portfolio companies. And so we just got to network 
and learn from her. And yeah. it was really awesome. And we learned so much just about um, our business and how we wanted to grow it, yep. ways that we could scale it, market, and um, it was so awesome. It was crazy because yeah. on my uh, on my birthday, the 17th of January, I was sitting in her apartment that overlooks Central Park. It's of course like the most beautiful apartment I've ever we've ever been in. And yeah. here she was singing Happy Birthday to me. I was like, Aww. this is this is a full circle moment for us. It's crazy. Totally surreal, right? Surreal. Yeah, yeah love that. T definitely a core memory for the rest of your life. Um, yes. Where can our viewers go so they can follow your journey? How do we find out what's going on with the crispy cone? Yeah, follow us on our Instagram. It's at crispy cones underscore. We have weekly specialty flavors that we release on Mondays. And so that announcement comes out on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook every Monday. And um, that's the fun thing to stay involved in. And then also our website, www.thecrispycones.com. I love it. And we have just lots of different updates and stuff. It's yeah. super fun. Awesome. And then um, in the future, we're going to have to get you guys down here in person and do some crispy cone yeah. here in the Idaho Today kitchen. Yeah. That's nice. yes. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully soon we can have a couple locations out there in, in your side of Idaho. We're going to hold you to it, you guys. Yes. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, everyone. Make sure you check him out on Shark Tank this Friday. More to come here on Idaho Today right after the break. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jeremy and Caitlin. Greatly right. appreciate your time and congratulations, you guys. Of Thank course. you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Have a great rest of your day.